Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the longest common prefix problem. Write a function to find the longest common prefix string amongst an array of strings. If there is no common prefix, return an empty string. So here they give you two examples. In example 1, the input is an array of strings that has these words, flower, flow, and flight. The output is fl, because this is the longest common prefix. As you can see, fl is here, also in this string here, and also here. So this is the longest common prefix. Example 2, the words are dog, race car, and car. So there is no common prefix, so the method returns the empty string. Note, all given inputs are in lowercase letters a through c. How can we solve this problem? There are several ways to solve this problem. We could do a horizontal scanning, or we could do a vertical scanning. We could also use divide and conquer, or we could use binary search. Binary search is also another method. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve this problem using a vertical scanning. The time complexity will be big of s, where s is the sum of all the characters in all the strings and the space complexity is big O of 1, constant space complexity. When I say vertical scanning, I mean that I will compare every character of every string column by column, and then I move on to the next column. When I say column, I mean index. So first we compare these, all these characters here at the corresponding positions, and then I move to the next position and compare these characters here. And then I'm looking for a mismatch. Whenever they don't match, or whenever I find that, for instance, they have, the first one has, is longer than, than either one, than any of the others, then I can immediately stop and I can return the longest common prefix that I have found so far. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to say if strs equals equals null or strs.length equals equals zero, just return the empty string. If the reference is null or the length of the array is zero, there is no common prefix, so return the empty string. Then for integer j, because value of zero, j is less than strs sub zero that length plus plus j. So as you can see, index j is going to iterate through every character in the first string from left to right. And then for every character in the first string, I will compare the, that character that character with a corresponding character in every word that remains to be examined. So I will have four integer i, because the value of 1, i is less than strs that length plus plus i. So i starts at 1 because we want to start at the second word, and then i will iterate through all the remaining words. So as I said, I will check if j is greater than or equal to strs so by that length, so if, for instance, I find that this first string is longer than any word that remains to be examined, then I can stop right there and I can return the longest common prefix that I have found so far. Because if this is longer than, for example, this one, when I'm examining, then I know that it's not possible that um, I can find a longer common prefix because this is already longer. So I just return the longest common prefix that I have found till now, not including position J. Also, if there's a mismatch, for instance, if, if I'm here and I find that there's a mismatch at the corresponding position in another word, 
then I can stop because this is uh, because I already found a mismatch so I just returned the longest common prefix that I found up, uh, before before now so not including position J so I would I will say or strs so by that char at j is not equal to strs sub zero that char at j so i just return what i have found so far so it's going to be strs sub i that substring from position zero inclusive to position j exclusive Otherwise, if I was able to get out of the for loops without returning anything, that means that the entire first string was the longest common prefix. So I just return it. Return strs sub zero, and I'm done. So I'm gonna run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm gonna submit the solution. All right, this is working perfectly. As I said before, the time complexity is big O of S, where S is the sum of all the characters and all the strings, and the space complexity is big O of 1. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time!